You're looking for a low budget 3D printer? Well, I might just have the perfect one for you. Everybody talks about the newest DIY open source 3D printer kit. This is the new Annette A8, cheapest 3D printer on the market. So let's take a look at it. What's up my friends, welcome back. I have just bought a new 3D printer and I thought I should share my first opinion on this really cheap 3D printer. It's called a Net A8 and it's practically the same as the Prusa i3. Before this printer I had that Prusa i3 and that cost me double that this one. It's true that that was one year ago and 3D printer prices were a lot higher back then. But even so this printer is very cheap. It's more. I think this Annette A8 is the cheapest 3D printer nowadays and if you think that is because it's very low quality, you're wrong. It's like they took all the parts from the Prusa i3 that needed improvement and they changed each one of those. And because 3D printers are each day more popular, the prices got lower and lower due to a bigger market. So this not make it a bad 3D printer, it's just marketing. So, I will now tell you my first impression on this printer and what I think got better since the Prusa i3. First of all, it's called a Net A8, but it's still a Prusa. We all know that Prusa and all the RepRap printers are open source. So that means anybody could easily improve this project over and over again. So after Prusa Mandel and Itineration 3, they made this one and call it a Net. Just by looking at the specification of the printer, we can see that it's already better than the dear old Prusa. It has 1cm more of printing size, and for me that is a very nice bonus. As I said, this kit is very cheap. I bought it from eBay for just 195 euros, and just one year back I had my Prusa for over 400 euros. So that's a really big sale for the 3D printers community. All I got to say is that the do-it-yourself kit is awesome. The printer is bigger but the box is smaller than the Prusa i3. That's because all the parts are well organized. Everything is labeled and well divided in three parts. All the acrylic parts on one side, the electronics and all the screws on the other, and finally the bearings and rods. Mounting the kit was incredibly easy. There are 7 videos on YouTube with all the instructions. Follow those videos and you will be able to mount it all by yourself. The frame got improved in any way that it could. First of all, they made it all possible to reduce the screw parts and make it all out of acrylic. Each laser cut plastic part joins together perfectly using only a few screws. What I like most is this smooth rod system that enables you to remove them anytime you want without any screw. The threaded rods are also way better than in the older kits. They are still 8mm diameter. But to improve the performance of the printer, they decided to replace the old threaded rod zeta axis with a lead screw. A lead screw is much more rigid, it's very hard so it doesn't bend, it has a very smooth surface and its shape is specially designed for moving inside the nut. Mounting the mainframe without the rods took me only half hour. The structure of the kit and the way it is mounted is way better and faster than the old ones. The kit includes all the necessary tools to mount it. It has better bearing supports, which will improve the precision of the printer. Shaky axis will result in a bad printing, but having aluminum supports for the linear bearings will reduce vibration. The Y axis is 100% made out of aluminum and the lever screws fit directly in the Y axis frame so you don't have to use butterfly nuts to adjust the level. The heated bed is also made out of aluminum. This kit doesn't include the squared glass to print on. Instead, it comes with this white paint tape which I don't like very much. Print on it with ABS and it won't stick well. Print with PLA and it will stick permanently. What I mean is that when I had to remove the printed object, the paint tape peeled off with the object and I had to put a new one. Besides, you have to wait for the board to cool and that takes quite a long time. Having a removing glass like in the older kits, you will be able to remove only the glass and put it aside to cool. So I will definitely buy a square glass and print it on like I used to till now. 
One of the best improvement of this kit is the X-axis. It also uses big aluminum supports for the linear bearings. But the main upgrade is the extruder support. It is made out of aluminum as well. I don't know why they didn't use this part till now. It is very light, perfectly shaped and it fits on the axis only with a few screws without using nuts for the screws because the aluminum frame already has threaded holes on it. You see, my last Prusa had an ABS printed support for the extruder like almost all the Prusa printers I think. I know ABS can handle high temperatures, but over the time, due to the extruder weight and high temperature, the support always bended over and I had to print a new one every 3 months. With this metal support that problem is finally over and that makes me very happy. Unlike the other stock kits, this one comes with an extra fan used to cool the printed objects while it's printed. That will prevent all objects to bend because the material is cooling down much faster. In the other kit I had problems with all the wires. It was very hard to pass them through the acrylic holes of the frame because those holes were too small. Now the printer comes with these big holes and you can easily pass all the wires through them. The step motors are a little bit smaller and I hope that won't give me problems. The axes are moving way smoother and I hope that the motors will never fail due to not enough torque. Now one of the things that I don't like is the main board. This board is called Melzi and it runs with the Atmega 128 microchip and the Marlin firmware. First of all I don't like the fact that all the step modules are integrated. In the past I had some problems with that type of modules. Those microchips are easy to burn due to high current or heat. But having separate modules make everything easier. I could buy a new step driver for like a dollar and just change it. I can't do that anymore. If one module burned out I have to buy a new board or try to change the SMD chip myself. I hope that won't happen. I sincerely prefer the RAMS 1.4 board with separated step driver modules. The next thing I don't like about this kit is that it's come with a recommendation for the Cura software to print with. Cura it's ok, but I prefer a software which has a manual control and a lot of extra settings. Of what I know Cura has no more the manual control. I don't know about you, but I prefer Repetier to print my objects. So, I've tried using this printer with the Prusa settings in Repetier and it didn't work. I didn't knew why, so I searched online. I found no info because this printer is quite new and it's difficult to find tutorials about it. My first thought was to burn another firmware on it, so I searched for the Marlin firmware for the Melzi board. Finally, it turned out that all I had to do is to change the baud rate for this printer. All the 3D printers that I've seen had a 250,000 baud rate, but this one works at 115 baud rate. So my fault. After I've changed the baud rate everything worked ok. The kit had some missing parts like these belt clips for the x-axis so I had to print those myself. And another thing that I don't like is this huge space between the extruder and the x end stop. When I home the printer the X axis gets way outside of the printing bed. That means that when I put the printer in zero position on the X axis it will print outside of the board. I will have to put something in between the end stop and the extruder. I also love the belt tensioner for the bolt axis of the Prusa i3. My past Prusa had this butterfly nut that was pulling the belts till they were tight enough. This kit has a static bearing in both belts. But I have already downloaded from Thinkverse some belt tensioner of this module. I will let a link in the description for those upgrades. So that's another thing that I don't like about this kit. The power supply doesn't come with an on and off switch, so you will have to plug and unplug it every time that you print and that it's not great at all. But overall this Annette A8 kit is awesome. For that price I can't ask for more. I recommend you to buy this one if you're looking for a low budget 3D printer. If you are happy with the Prusa i3 results, which for me has quite some nice specification, you will also be happy with this one. In my opinion this is the best and affordable do-it-yourself 3D printer kit of the year. 
It is so compact. Looks awesome with all the acrylic frame and all the aluminium parts. Prints quite fast and with a decent precision and the best thing it costs less than 190 euros. If you save some money anyone could buy it and start learning about the 3D world which each day gets more popular and useful. So this was my first impression of the Annette A8. Thank you guys and if you have any questions just leave it in the comment section below or on my Q&A page. Please like share and subscribe to motivate me for more videos like this one. Thanks again and see you later guys.